And you guys see the smile on my face. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great, and I hope you're all staying safe. Today's video is another mod for your quest, except this, this is something absolutely unbelievable. Yesterday I made a video about somebody who managed to get Linux XFCE desktop running on the Oculus Quest. However, I forgot that we had Hudder on the Discord who had already done this ages ago and even sent me a tutorial on how to do it. And how could I possibly go today's video without talking about the fact that the Oculus Quest 2 is now officially rooted. Yes, it's now official, this has been confirmed yesterday by no one other than Robert Long himself. Now this is super exciting because in the article it says that the researchers were actually successfully able to bypass Facebook's login by using this quote-unquote jailbreak method. Now there is no quote-unquote jailbreak out for us yet to use, however this is a massive step in the Quest modding community, so of course I have to mention it. Again, this is official and somebody just won a lot of money. So today I will be showing you guys exactly how to run Linux on your Oculus Quest 2 and 1 so that you can do your daily tasks just within your headset without a computer at all. This will essentially give you an entire desktop PC just inside your headset. Now, this one is going to be a little bit complicated, so stick with me and I'm going to do my very best to give you guys the best tutorial I possibly can. Also, just in case you're wondering, this isn't against Facebook's TOS because we're not modifying any app from their store and we're not doing anything illegal. So we're perfectly fine on that end. I read through the entire TOS just to make sure that we were safe on that side. Let's jump right in. So the first thing you're going to need to do is enable developer mode. And as usual, I'm going to send you over to view your cauldron for that just in case you haven't done that yet. Then what you will need is you will need a side loading application that is going to be either SideQuest or just standard old ADB. And if you don't have a computer, you're going to be using Bug Jaeger on your phone. Same principle, download the APK. I have a video done entirely on how to sideload APKs using just your phone. And we will do this because we need an app called Termux. Termux is a terminal app that will allow us to download and install XFCE onto the Oculus Quest storage, then allowing us to connect to it using no VNC in Firefox's web browser. Now, Hudder did recommend I use something else instead of Firefox. However, I will be using Firefox just because it is a default app from the App Store that you can download, and the less sideloading we have to do, the better. So, let's power on the Quest and start downloading our files. So once again, if you want to be on the safe side from viruses and stuff like that, you can download the app onto your phone and use APK Extractor to take that app and then create it into an APK. However, because I'm not really worried about that, I'm just gonna hop onto APK Mirror and download Termux from there. So as you guys can see, I have my instructions right here and uh, everything is right here for us, created just by Hudder. So this is what we will be keeping to. So jumping straight into the Chrome web, web browser, I'm gonna find Termux. And it seems that you can also download it off of F-Droid, which means you're getting it straight from the source. Now that is handy. So I'm gonna grab my IPK from F-Droid and I will be right back to you guys. So now that we have downloaded Let's connect the Quest to the computer, launch SideQuest, and sideload this app. Same thing would happen with your phone. If you download the APK onto your phone, you'd launch Bug Jaeger and install the app through there. Again, I already have a tutorial on this, so I won't be going through this in this video. So here we go. Now we just wait for the connection from SideQuest, and then we find the app by clicking this button right here. You find the APK that you downloaded and just install it straight to your headset. So I'm gonna click on it right there, and going into the tasks, you guys can see, Install app, okay. So we are now fully ready to jump straight into the headset, launch Termux, copy and paste a few commands, and then I'll be ready to show you guys how to connect to it. However, because unknown sources apps cannot be recorded on the Oculus Quest nowadays, I will not be able to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So I'll be showing either snippets of it or little clips from my camera, but it will force me to put my camera into my headset, so I won't be able to show you exactly. So it'll be a little bit less clear than it would normally be. However, stick with me and hopefully we get through this. So to launch Termux inside your headset, what you want to do is you want to click right here, then click on Oculus TV, and then inside Oculus TV, you jump into channels and you see it under unknown sources. Then you can launch Termux straight from here. Again, this is where the recording stops. However, you will see a keyboard in front of you and a terminal. Now, don't worry, the terminal isn't as scary as you might think it is. So now what we need to do is we need to start putting commands from those instructions that Hudder gave me straight into here that will allow us to download XFCE and install it. 
So I'm going to jump straight into putting those commands into Termox. So what I have done to make my life a lot easier is I've stuffed a tissue inside there to think the headset there's something inside it. I've put my camera here so that I can see what's happening and I have connected an external keyboard to the Oculus Quest. That way you guys can see what's happening and I can type much faster. So jumping straight into this lovely tutorial. Okay, that's a lot of stuff we need to type. Okay, let's get typing. Package, install, widget, open SSL, dash tool, slash Debian. As you can see, that has now been successfully downloaded. So, once you have Debian downloaded, that is like the longest command in the entire thing. However, I am going to keep my keyboard connected. So now that that command is in, we put in the command to finally start Debian. So let's put it in. Dot forward slash start dash Debian dot sh. Okay. There's another really long command. Base https github user content dot com xlab dash resources. No. The stupid keyboard showed up again. So during this process, there will be a few prompts you will need to answer to. For example, your keyboard layout and you setting a password. Now, when you're typing in a password, don't worry, you are not supposed to see it. That's just a Linux terminal thing. You're not gonna see the password while you're typing it in, but it is actually getting typed in. So make sure you type it in correctly. It'll ask you to re-enter it anyway. Then it'll ask you if you want to enter a view only password. I clicked no on that one. However, that is entirely up to you, but I have also changed the setup of my quest here a little bit. I've now strapped this on and actually it looks pretty nice. It adds a few USB ports to the quest right here. So now let's move straight in. Once that's done, you actually have your XFCE desktop environment installed. However, we're not done just yet. First, we need to type in VNC servers dash stop. Then we type that in again. Then we type start and then we can jump into our Linux environment. So first we type it in twice VNC server dash stop, enter. Then I'm gonna go up and enter again. Perfect, that killed it twice. And now we type VNC server dash start. And that should start a VNC server. I have ditched the idea of running it inside Firefox, even though it looks really cool. We're just gonna download VNC viewer for Android and uh, we're gonna install that. Because to get it running in Firefox, we need no VNC and no VNC is an entirely different thing that I don't want to start getting into. So I've downloaded a VNC viewer, again, links down below, and I'm going to install it straight onto the Quest. Now that it's installed, let's launch it on the Quest so that I can show you guys what you need to do. Because again, uh, you're not going to be able to see what I do because it's an unknown sources app and those are blocked, but it should be rather simple. Now that we have started the service and we know everything is working, we should be able to go straight into our unknown apps, launch VNC viewer, and from within VNC viewer, we just click next, 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 and get started. Okay, then inside VNC viewer, you wanna click the plus button in the bottom right, type in your IP address, which will be localhost. So that's 127.0.0.1 colon 5901 because that's the port or you could do port one either way both should work so i'm going to do port one and i'm just going to name it test then you go ahead and click the create button and then we click connect on the one that shows up it says that it is an unencrypted connection which is perfectly fine then it asks us for our password so i'm going to put in the password right now i'm going to click go and boom this is beautiful we are successfully inside the no vnc machine this is absolutely amazing wow and hey we now have linux running inside the oculus quest 2 check this out check it out xfc desktop right there inside the Oculus Quest 2. Doesn't it look beautiful? So there you guys go. You can now install Linux inside your Oculus Quest 1s and Quest 2s. I know this has been known for a while, but I don't know if there's an actual tutorial floating around anywhere. This is how you can do it. What you do with it from here on, entirely up to you. Whether you want to install no VNC and get it working in Firefox, good for you. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I've been trying for a very long time. It's now 8 p.m. Have fun. And this thing has a lot of potential use cases. For example, you can do work on it. Of course, you can launch multiple stuff like Firefox. YouTube surprisingly runs pretty damn smoothly on it. A lot of use cases in Linux 
that you can now use on your Oculus Quest 2. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please let me know why down in the comment section below. If you guys want to join this community that we have, we have a Discord down in the description below. We also have a Reddit down in the description below where I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes. And if you guys want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, mysticalstore.com is your friend, mysticalstore.com. So if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.